Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the first time I'm doing a video like this. Um, so let me, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Um, if you like this kind of video, if you want to see more of this, or if you say no, this is not my thing, um, that's fine too. Um, I like the feedback, so you're not going to hurt my feelings. But um, I'm going to be doing today a video on the books that I plan to read for um, January. And you probably are looking at this and saying, okay, you only have three books laying there. And that is true. But I work full-time. I also go to school full-time, and my husband and I serve in ministry full-time. So, in order to have time for the other things that I'm going to be doing per uh, my, in my personal study time, I only picked three books for this month. Now, if I get through these three books very quickly, then of course I'll pick something else up and, um, and read that as well. But my plan is to read these three books and then at the end of the month give you my thoughts on each one. And I will show you the other things that I will be doing as well. So the three books that I plan to read are Choosing Forgiveness by Nancy DeMoss Wogglemuth. Now I have already started this if you've been watching any of my other videos. I started this before Christmas and then I laid it down after getting a couple of chapters in simply because I am a full-time student. I was studying for finals. We had a lot of things going on at our church um, with the holiday season and just getting ready for Christmas all together. And so I chose to put this aside until after the first of the year, and then I would pick it back up and continue reading it. That way I was able to still just focus on um, my own personal Bible study time, the things we had uh, need of at the church, and then studying for my finals. Um, which, by the way, there are a couple people that had sent me messages and commented that they were praying for me um, during my finals. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, they went really, really well, and I was very pleased. So I appreciate the prayers. Um, but the first book that I'm going to pick up is um, Choosing Forgiveness by Nancy DeMoss Wogglemuth. Um, I love reading her books. Um, she is a very good writer, uh, very easy to read, in my opinion, um, and very filled with uh, scripture. So, like I said before, I am a couple of chapters already in on this. Um, and I do highlight and underline, as you can see in, in my Bible, I mean in my books, um, and take notes. And so I have a journal that's just from Amazon, just a regular, um, I don't even know what brand this is actually. Ecolo maybe that I ordered from Amazon for like six or seven bucks um, that I'll keep notes in. I'll either keep them in that or just like one of these kind of flimsy um, five-star notebooks. So whichever one I pick up to start, I'll use one or the other. So I'm going to be doing Choosing Forgiveness. And it says Moving from Hurt to Hope um, and Being working in ministry we um you know encounter people that have faced hurt a lot and um so just being and we face anybody if you're living and breathing there are going to be and you are a christian you are going to be facing hurt in some way shape or form throughout your life it's inevitable um so i just thought that this book would be a really good book to read um for my own personal use, as well as um, helping others that may cross my path at, from, at times um, that are facing any kind of hurt uh, to help them with hope. So that is the first one. And then the second one is by, also by Nancy DeMoss Wogglemuth. Um, and this is Choosing Gratitude, Your Journey to Joy. And it also has a 30-day devotional included. Um, this was a Christmas present from my husband because he knows that I love her books. Um, but I'm really looking forward to this, um, because one of my own personal sayings is always choose joy every day, choose joy, 
because there are going to be so many things that come against us in life. Um, if you walk outside of your home for anything, for work, for school, for um, your children's events, anything, there are going to be things in this world that Satan tries to use to come against you. And it is up to us to choose joy every day. And I want to choose joy every day. And I want to choose gratitude every day. Um, and that is one of the ways that I plan on using this um, book. I want to read this book. And if you, I'll show you this. I'll just pop this in here real quick. Go back and watch my review on this, The Gratitude Finder. Um, because I did a review on this um, recently, and this is the first time I'd ever heard of this company, um, but I'm really looking forward to using this for this year and, sh and finding things that I can be grateful for that helps me choose joy every day. But I'm going to be reading this book, and it is the book, and as it says on the front, it does have, let me get there, um, a little too far. In the back of the book, it has a 30-day devotional guide on growing in gratitude. And so, um, I'm really looking forward to reading this book and um, letting you know, you guys know what I think about it. Now, I'll read the book this month, and then I'm probably going to do the devotional guide in the month of February. Or I may just start go ahead and start it when I finish it, and then continue reading in another book. It just depends on where I'm at with my other things. So that's the second book. And then the third book um, that I have purchased to read this month is God of All Things, Rediscovering the Sacred in an Everyday World by Andrew Wilson and the Forward by Jen Wilkin. Um, I selected this book because of um, listening to Faith Womack of How to Faith a Life podcast. She also has a YouTube channel. Um, and I'll try to see if I can link that down below. I'm not, I'm, I, I know how to link these items, um, but linking other people's channels I haven't done before yet. So I'll try to see if I can do that. But she had recommended this book on a podcast. And so I decided to purchase this book because, not just off of her recommendation, but um, once she started to talk about what the different um, aspects of the book, and you can see here in the front of it, it talks about like different things in the book and how, what their meaning or, or, or different, different items in scripture and what their meaning and purpose are. Um, and so I really was interested in the things that are in nature and how they relate to scripture and their purpose in scripture. So I'm going to also add this to the list for the month of January. So those will be the three books that I'll be reading in the month of January and try to give you my thoughts and on each of these at the end of the month. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have any book suggestions, um, please leave those down below as well. Um, I don't read really fiction books. I only just because I'm, uh, I like to read books that I feel like are going to be more um, opening me up to, further to Scripture and understanding of Scripture and um, helping me in my walk with the Lord. So, um, But if you have any book suggestions, please leave them down below. Um, and I'll be, if you like this kind of video, I may try to do uh, To Be Read and then a review um, each month. So just let me know that as well. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching um, and for the comments that you leave. I really do appreciate it. Um, it helps me know what resources I'm sharing that are helpful um, so that I can continue to share things that will help you grow in your walk with the Lord. Um, but have a great day. Be blessed and be a blessing to someone today.